Everyone wants to get out there and, and get on with the racing and um, that's what we've been working towards for three years. It's a massive desire to bring the cup back to New Zealand and we're all very much focused on the one goal. There's an old saying in America's Cup that the fastest boat always wins. For the sailors on the water, it'll be a mixture of excitement, being out there racing, but also a little bit of anxiety. Conservatism doesn't get you anywhere on a, on a high-speed, high-performance boat, so you have to be aggressive, but you have to have the right amount of aggression, and it has to be a controlled aggression. The America's Cup course now is, has changed completely. It's a brand new course. It really tries to utilize the benefits of racing in San Francisco Bay with the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, the wind that funnels down through into the bay. Two races a day, first to nine wins. We have sidelines like in football. One of those sidelines is geographically marked by the Marina Green downtown area. The other sideline is by a virtual GPS sideline. That's about halfway off the shore to sort of Alcatraz, the Golden Gate Bridge. So the two boats come into this pre-start. They circle each other, fight for the better start, and that all depends whether it's a flood tide or an ebb tide, and then you shoot off right in by the spectators and you come screaming in at 40 knots. We race down to Alcatraz, up to the Golden Gate Bridge, back down to Alcatraz and to the finish off Pier 29 there. So it's a, it's a very tight, confined course, but a fantastic course for spectators. It's a process where you've got to keep pushing hard all the way through because these boats just, they reward good crew work, uh, sailing them well, the manoeuvres and things, being able to execute those well all the time with the consistency you need. You can get shifty conditions, you can get wind against tide, you can get very flat water. It um, throws a lot of options out there for, for racing. Team New Zealand look incredibly fast. Every time you um, watch them racing, they're just, they really just, you give them a little bit of breathing room and they run away with it. It's a little bit nerve wracking going up against them because they're so polished, it's gonna be tough. There's no question that they're a, a formidable team and they're very, very strong. So we'll have to be on our game. It's going to be full on, you know, we're going to see some really fast and close racing as well. It's going to be great fun. You can have really close boat on boat action and it's insane to have it at, you know, 35, 40 knots. You've got a boat less than half a boat length away from you and you're just thinking the results will be catastrophic, but it makes you, you know, step up to the line and, and the adrenaline's pumping. In the America's Cup, there are always bragging rights at stake. Of course, you want to have those bragging rights. Sir. It's pretty much everything for me. It's, um, you know, I'm a very challenge-driven sort of person. There is no second place. There's no second place in America's Cup because there's two boats in the race. There's a winner and a loser. If you get second, you're a, you're a, you're a loser in last place.